Always getting high, always and forever. Party till we die. Always getting crazy, always getting high, always and forever. Party till we die. Hey guys, uh, before I get to the actual video, I'm just throwing this real quick disclaimer in here. You need to have the version 1.3 patch installed. And if you don't have that installed, you need to also install the 1.1 and 1.2 patch as well before you can install the version 1.3 patch. So I just figured I'd throw that in there. Now let's get to the actual tutorial video. And as you see, there's no uh, error mod in here because I, I don't have it installed currently. So we'll get to that right now. Alright so here we are with part two of the video and this is the actual tutorial. It's fairly easy actually. All you really have to do is click on this download as zip option and then you want to go to this uh, little, I don't know what you want to call it, icon, file transfers icon and you can just track your uh, download here but I already have it downloaded so we don't have to waste your time for that. So once it's downloaded, you go to your file here called ABC 2.0, open that up, open up the folder. There's eight files here. All you really have to do is open one up, but, but for the sake of time of this video, as you see, it's going to go by very slowly. And as you see in the background, I have this ABC folder. So once this gets like, uh, what is it, exported out of the file, it, it would be like three minutes, so you get this APC folder and you only have to extract from one of these eight files. Really nothing uh, bad about it. It's all just one file, so. Or it's all one folder, that's just what it converts into. That's why it's in eight different parts. So once you have your APC folder, you just go to your, wherever your Battlefront 2 is, whether it's in your Steam apps, in your Battlefront 2, uh, whatever, whatever it is, maybe you it's on Pirate Bay. I have no idea. So when you get to your game data, put go to your add-on folder, put in your three-lettered ABC folder, and that's all there is to it. You can't help the floating icons because, well, the bug fix for that was removed by Devis currently because he's working on a newer version. It's been a month though. Uh, so let's launch up the game and I'll show you that the uh, mod actually works. Okay, so here we are on the game and to prove that it, it worked correctly, you see all these uh, added in modes. Some of them are in this orange color, others are just in the white color. And you see Clone Wars Extended, you see the Hero Assault mode, you see the Order 66 mode on there, Classic Conquest. Oh, what else? Yeah, hunt mode I think, death wash mode. So that's how you know it installed correctly. And I'll just launch something up real quick to show you that it actually does work. What should I click? I don't think it matters. I don't know. We'll just start destroyer. I mean, it probably takes a while to load if you just installed it. So I'd give it a little bit of time. Alright, so there you go. Uh, I hope this uh, tutorial actually helped you. If it did, then I guess you can leave a like or whatever. If it didn't, then I guess you can comment and say what your problem is. Probably should have said you need the 1.3 patch, but that's besides the point at this point. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye.